far for Oklahoma City. All game long, they've been making it rain from the arc. And look, they've done it by feeding the hot hands. And the other thing we've seen them do well tonight is draw fouls. Time and time again throughout this game, they've won trips to the line and converted. What I appreciate about Wiggins is that he doesn't force anything. He just lets the game come to him naturally. Setting the floor for the Warriors. Up front, it's Green at the four with Jackson Davis at the five. Some kind of shooting in the backcourt for him. It's Curry and Heel. And it's Wiggins in at the three spot. Hartenstein passes to Wiggins. A shot missing. Good D by Heel. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Here's Curry. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. The greatest shooter ever, Steph Curry. You played with him. What was it like seeing him day in and day out? I had the pleasure of playing with Steph the first year he broke the NBA record for threes in a season. And when I tell you he was just scratching the surface, he was always looking to push the boundaries to see what he can do and to work at every aspect of his shooting. First free throw is good. RJ, with how well Curry continues to play, I'm not sure his three-point record will ever be broken. It's going to be tough to do. But even if it does, I think Steph will still be regarded as the best shooter we have ever seen, simply because how he changed the game. Jang, he's checked in for Kenrich Williams. Steph and Curry hits them both. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. Here's what Oklahoma City's schedule is looking like. On Monday, they'll be facing Kawhi Leonard and the Los Angeles Clippers. And then on Wednesday, they'll go up against C.J. McCollum and the New Orleans Pelicans. You know, they may not admit it, but I'm guessing they're happy to see this schedule that's directly in front of them. Haven't been getting victories here of late, and this provides a great opportunity to stop that trend. First one falls for him. And the league limiting players from making public trade demands, which I guess makes sense. That's a big change from the past, isn't it? Yeah, I think it saves franchises from being put in a tough spot. Keeps a player's trade value high, which helps the team they're leaving. And both free throws good for Wiggins. Well, over the years, the Warriors have had some historic tax bills. Yeah, and for the most part, it's been well worth it because it's led to championships and they generate a ton of income. But now, with this tax repeater penalties, you can see why they've tried to cut costs and every team in the league has followed. Thunder have gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. Hartenstein with the screen on Wiggins. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. Pass to Green. They set the pick. To the inside. And Jackson Davis gets it to go. Running offense through Green isn't just an option. It's a preference. The way, Greg, they're sharing the ball tonight, mesmerizing. Everyone's getting to touch it, and, and everyone's contributing. Wiggins against Wiggins, and it's good for two. Wiggins has got 12 points here in the second half. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flames. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. To the paint. Here's healed. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. And what a show of agility by healed. Getting around the contact there and right to his finish. The Thunder have gone 5 of 7 from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. Pass to Topic. RG, what have you noticed about the young players that enter the NBA today? 
Unfortunately, the NBA is now tasked with teaching players how to play basketball. The NBA wasn't a teaching league 20 years ago. Now it is. A lot of players are spending their first, second, and even third year learning how to play basketball. That was not always the case. They used to go to college and play for Hall of Fame coaches for four years. Wiggins with the block. There's the length from Wiggins. Got the paw up and redirected the shot. Pass to Hartenstein. Six on the shot clock. Wallace outside. It's good from long range. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. Higgins outside. with the block they've shown some strength in the paint today their work on the boards has been impressive a beautiful reverse layup Wiggins has got 11 points in the quarter and he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket he made that reverse look easy Golden State's gone 2 of 5 on 3 point shots since the end of the third quarter healed outside Wiggins outside. Healed outside. Green with a screen for heel. And again, it's the Warriors missing. There's the killer two-handed slam. Nothing soft about the putback there. And why chance it, right? Take the dunk if you've got it. And that's his MOB physical. Get in position for the putback and throw it down. The defense got to know that's what he's looking to do. Inside, here's Wiggins, and it's Wiggins with the jam. While he's a bit undersized for a four, he more than makes up for it with his balance. One thirty-nine left to play here in the fourth. Curry deciding where to go with it. Outside, Green. No good from outside. The Thunder shooting impressively throughout at 62%. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Thunder. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And now, for the year, this is going to take him to seven wins. And, and once it becomes official, this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team. They'll face them twice more this season. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Shea Gilgis-Alexander. We certainly got to see his best effort on offense, attacking the defense without fear and grabbing a lot of buckets. Green with a screen for Heal. Connects from three-point range. This is what Heal does. Exceptional at spacing the court with his three-point shooting. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Wiggins in the post. Covered by Wiggins. Pass to Topic. Hartenstein with a screen on Kirk. Wallace finds Hartenstein. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And that score probably slams the door for any would-be comebacks. And look, they put this one to bed. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And that'll do it, folks. Richard Jefferson, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching tonight's game on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.